Okay, another video by Homeu Labs. Great dude. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. I'm going to leave the links all down below. Um, very, very good lore videos, especially if you want to know more about Honkai Impact 3rd. And I'm assuming he's going to do some on Star Rail as well. Uh, this is what happened in Elysium Everlasting, chapters 29 through 31. Story recap for Honkai Impact 3rd. Uh, this is continuing on, I believe, from when May uh, passed Aponia's test. Uh, so she could learn more about the uh, Elysium realm and, and all the secrets and stuff. So uh, I'm very curious to know more. From Elysia's memories. She tries to find out more about Elysia's identity as the 13th version okay. of the previous era. As usual, the flame chasers tell her nothing useful except for Pardo who takes her looting treasure chests. At least that's something, right? May notices a strange creature following her around. She tries to pursue it, but it gets away. Later that day, Elysia shows May a typewriter that records all the Damn, information why did that just remind in me of Violet Evergarden? database. This way, May can get an objective answer to all of her questions. Really? Use the typewriter, oh, they wake be up Elysia. as Elysia, who is the Elf administrator Elysia? of the device. So Using cute. the data Dude, provided is the fucking beautiful, May man. looks into Elysia's past and learns about her early mod days. Shortly, Sakura appears out of nowhere and asks about Vilvi's whereabouts. Apparently, she repaired the third divine key at Sakura's request. The conductor oh, is wary shit. of her because Sakura used to wield that sword back in Cocoon when she assassinated people. Oh, Not damn. Not gonna lie, Pink is very sus right now. Yeah, true. <laughs> Mainari, it is revealed that the mod never approved the 13 flame chasers because they thought that most of them are not fit to become heroes. The two share a heartwarming moment. As Dude, Elisa these shots are so beautiful. Now I'm seeing where so many of these like uh, screenshots I always saw on Twitter and stuff are coming from opens up about her feelings and insecurities. Finally, she promised to show May everything that happened at her final banquet the following day. Now that's a red flag if I ever seen one. Darkness falls over the Elysium everlasting. We see Sakura in front of a piece of paper Silhouette. from the typewriter and hear Elysia's voice. The next day, May is waiting for Elysia, but she never shows up. What a surprise! Who would have thought? Anyway, May tries to find her, but to no avail. She learns from the other flame chasers that Elysia's data has disappeared. So I wonder, does May become a flame chaser as well? She's or is she just in that world, just trying to we learn more about Su it? We see searching the realm with his psychic powers for clues and noticing that the data of Sakura and Kalpas is also missing. After the typewriter confirms Elysia's death in a very sad manner, what the May fuck? and Su team up to get some information information out of the other flame chasers. Due to the plan yielding what do you mean no Elysia's results, dead? May wants to leave the Elysian realm and ask for help from outside. While leaving, she gets dragged back into the realm and passes out while fighting a horde of monsters. Meanwhile, Kevin gives Sue his crystal flower and tells him that he knows the truth but cannot reveal it to anybody, not even Sue. Later, Kevin meets with totally not obvious from a mild VV, uh, I mean a mysterious individual. <laughs> the next day, Hua finds Mei unconscious in the lobby. Mei tells her that she cannot leave the realm anymore and the two return to Elysia's data space. I wonder, back there, Kalpas how does he get fun. all this footage? Did he just like record it? Can you like go back and do old story stuff? If, if so, that'd be pretty cool but he was on a rampage he got mad because the others suspect see what Sakura i mean dude what i said in my other video dude the designs in honkai and the weapons are so fucking cool why can't genshin do this shit he a traitor he threatens to fight everybody but soon like every single character's weapons are so unique part of the realm Oh my I think that's God. what I love about Sorrow the most. Genshin reference? As May mm -hmm. is witnessing all of this chaos, papers from the typewriter fall from the sky and confirm oh, that Kevin Wait. has also died. May goes to the amusement park to inform VLV of what's happening. 
but the not so subtle inventor was already aware. To prove the innocence of the other flame chasers, VLV wants to use an invention. Dude, that all the character designs are so fucking unique in this shit. Look at her. Oh my god, that is so cool. It's like steampunk. Adolphus is uh, also solution. sick. Look, I Meanwhile, love their design. And he is to like, dude. To stop, but they only managed Kalpus's to design is fucking more. awesome, man. Goes Look at that, dude. He looks like Ifrit from Final Fantasy. It turns like a half Ifrit, like a humanoid. He wanted to kill or harm the other flame chasers. He made all the ruckus to attract the attention of the real killer. As he destroys more and more of the realm, he is approached by an unknown entity that took his form. As Kalpas and less angry Kalpas talk, his deepest emotions and desires are revealed to us. Due to him being an alien, all he ever wanted was to feel like he belongs somewhere. He wished to protect the people around him, and all this time, his rage was directed at none other than himself for oh, wow. failing to do so. In the end, Kalpath was truly a good boy. He seems like a good Ua character, like May, very well Vilvi written. And Pardo with urgent news. Vilvi wants to use her invention to go into Hua's mind and prove her innocence, and this way, they would also find out the information she wanted. I would to not them. let someone in do Ua's that. Mind, May and Pardo see that Mobius But if it like fucking fried your mind or something, I mean, what the she fuck? Di she died, yes, she died. Finally, it is time for Vilvi Mobius to died? get... <laughs> <laughs> to get cleared of suspicions. I, I can't even say this with a serious face. May and Pardo enter her mind and find themselves in a space looking like the theater of domination. What the Pardo fuck? sees a sealed mirror and she has the worst possible idea imaginable. Jump she into wants the mirror? to stay behind and unlock it while May continues to explore so she dies memories. too, doesn't she? She has clearly not seen many mystery movies that involve killers. May hears Pardo scream and rushes back only to find the shopkeeper's data disintegrating in front of her eyes. Oh my god! Vilvi reveals herself to be the actual traitor. Wow, wow who would surprise. have thought? Her <laughs> evil personality came to the surface and was Who's orchestrating that? the events while imitating the others to not attract suspicion. The evil Vilvi planned to trap May in her mind and partition that part off, imprisoning her for eternity. Jesus she reveals Christ. that May brought something inside to the realm the last Dude, time May she is so the fucking cool. Vilvi she's one of my favorite characters. I think she's my favorite Honkai Impact third character. Chaos. Kalpas's remaining data made its way to Aponia. She touched the deepest parts of his subconscious and met the last lingering of his persona. He tells Aponia that he proved with his own body that Sakura was innocent. His data completely disappears and Aponia reveals that the it that May brought into the realm is the hersher of corruption from the current era. Oh. After May met the will okay. of the Honkai in Colostan, a part of the hersher of corruption got attached to her and followed May into the Elysian realm. The other part Oh May damn, so it's reality. all her fault that there, all of them are dying. That's fucked up. Down by Shixel, Anti-Entropy and the World Serpent. Raven and Grey Serpent found the last infected computer and sealed the Hersher inside Grey Serpent's body. His body was designed to function in the same way as the Black as Box the black that box. previously sealed the Hersher in the previous the, era. Yep, era the first Hersher. The whole Grey Serpent. Your Aloha shirt will be me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the part that went with May learned by observing the Sims from the Elysian realm. When May fought Kalpas, the Hersher of Corruption developed a powerful survival instinct because of the fear it experienced so it decided to remove every threat to its survival oh, and because there she was literally gonna bring herself to, to like close to death so that Aponia would come in and and save her to try to make her try and change her destiny but what she ended up doing was making the the uh, Herster of Corruption uh, learn a new ability to like like for survival Oh my god. To be honest, after seeing this, I would all s it my pants. Yeah. <laughs> May is saved by the original Vil V, who has awakened because more than half of her personalities died. 
Oh, she tells shit. me that Will V noticed the Hersher and approached it because she was curious. After getting corrupted, she got the corrupt. conductor yeah. threw all the corruption at the evil persona to get rid of it. In exchange for letting her live, the evil Will V agreed to help the Hersher Your get rid evil of May Vildi. because Jesus. she was not made out of data. In the Hersher's eyes, May was one of the biggest threats to her yep. existence in the realm. But what the Hersher and the evil Vilvi did not know, it was that's that crazy that there's a Hersher based on a fucking a, a virtual world or a, like a data world, a Vildi digital world. Goddamn! Because she was the only one able to stop the evil Vilvi and come up with a plan to defeat the Hersher of corruption. In the end, Vilvi ended up playing herself with some other levels of planning and manipulation. The original right, Vil V and I didn't think that was possible. fight the evil Vil V. The original Vil V God, the combat looks so fucking cool. He's playing with the PlayStation controller. Vil V and giving May a chance to overpower her. The I a lot better on, on a controller to be honest. unable to maintain her data anymore. The original also dies because she lost too much of her data. Wait, see, these cutscenes are not bad. I, I would actually dying, enjoy this. A lot of me, like a lot of times I stop like wanting to want to play this because the early game is so like, what's the style I'm, ta I'm thinking about? Like dungeon crawler style, I guess, where it's like 2D, right? And it just shows a portrait of the character and like some of it's not even voice acted, you know? Uh, I do very much like get more engrossed in like the 3D style. Uh, when it shows like 3d characters, I guess the best way to explain it. Um, I guess the best way to explain it is like Comparing like Danganronpa to like AI Somnium files, right? Like Danganronpa is like very much like 2d uh, For most of the game like dungeon crawler style and then like AI Somnium files is all 3d now Gives May her crystal flower and tells her about the Kevin Killer 666, a device that the could fuck? delete the entire Elysian realm with the Hersher of Corruption inside it. She also leaves some clues for Sue with instructions on how to bring back Elysia's data. After waking up, May finds herself face to face with the Hersher of Corruption who took Elysia's appearance. The Hersher of Corruption wants to prove May that it had no ill intentions. May saw through its deception and realized that it wanted oh to stop as much so as that possible wasn't really her. to get its hands on Kevin Killer 666. Longfield Kevin because Killer. Because this invention can only be used by Alicia, the Hersher of Corruption needed to take her appearance and identity. May start destroying the Elysian Realm's data, damaging the Hersher of Corruption in the process. Well, the Hersher of Hersher Corruption literally told her how to damage, do it. What the fuck? The is she stupid? Was enough to alert she literally Sakura just said, <laughs> you can just destroy the world to weaken me. It turns out that Sakura knew all along about Rin's fate and was pretending to be oblivious this whole time. After Why? she confronted Elysia about it that night, they were attacked by the Hersher of Corruption oh, who claimed to murder okay. Elysia in self-defense. To save herself, Sakura froze the space around her to stop the corruption from spreading. Vilvi noticed that and left Sue a message on how to find Sakura. Sue used his own oh, data to repair okay. Sakura's data and sent her after May. Sakura and May team up to find Oh, the that's cool, dude. But because Yar is a space made entirely out of data, the Hersher is an invincible being. Dude, here. that's fucking badass. With what help, a fucking screenshot of this, dude. Being here. That's so fucking cool. Holy shit, man. I love these With characters. Sue's help, May is removed to the frozen space created by Sakura earlier. According to Vilvi, they could bring back Elysia's data by creating a new data space from May's memories. In order to do so, Sue uses the same surgery that can create a sim on May's mind. Sakura stays oh, behind. Oh, see, that makes a lot of sense. How the fuck? Why did the fucking Honkai Impact Third official uh, recap do this? What the fuck? True Giga Chad, but gets deleted soon after. Oh, I got deleted. Aponia tries to reach the deepest parts of the Hersher of Corruption's mind in search for remnants of Elysia's of data. Elysia. Soon, she realizes that she's not actually inside the Hersher of Corruption's mind, but inside Mobius's mind Mobius. instead. Mobius planned to use an imitation of the previous era Hersher of Corruption to fight the current era Hersher of Corruption. In the past, what Mobius the fuck? He wasn't kidding when he said, 
auto levels of fucking like pre preparation and mind fuckery. God damn. Entered on the Herschel. She wanted to redefine humanity and find a way to transform people into virus-like entities. You know, I'm gonna make you guys a promise. Partially Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you guys a promise. I'm actually really enjoying this. What I'm gonna do, right? Because I'm gonna be super fucking focused on Final Fantasy 16. And I apologize for all of you that are here for Star Rail only or Honkai only that don't care about 16. Look at this. All right, like, look, look at this. Look, I have a fucking Buster Sword over there. I have posters everywhere, pictures, frames. I'm a massive Final Fantasy fan. It's what got me into content creation and uh, all this, right? I'm sorry. You're going to see a lot of Final Fantasy 16 content for a while. But I will promise you this. As soon as I am done and I have beaten the shit out of 16 to the point where, like, I'm talking like I'm probably even going to do speed runs of the game and learn speed run strats for 16 because I'm loving the game so much combat-wise and story-wise and everything. Um after even after i'm done 100 percenting it on on all game modes and everything um but i will promise you i am going to as soon as i'm done beating the game like 100 percenting it in between doing speed runs and whatever the fuck else i'm doing for videos like challenge runs and stuff i am going to start streaming this as well um i'll probably like start by doing star rail dailies and when there's nothing to do in star rail I'll switch uh, when I'm done with dailies and wasting stamina. I'll switch over to the Honkai Impactor and then just start grinding through it. Because honestly, I I am I am dude. I'm so loving these lore videos. The story to this game is so good, man. The writing's so good. Everything's so good. Like I love when when stories give me like such mind fuckery that I like have to do a double take and start thinking. Like when 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 games make me think. Uh, like I love that shit, man. Failed. I feel like a lot of times now stories will like ruin like game stories are so like what's the word I'm looking for like babied not not like in like terms of like graphic like content but like it's just like spoon fed to you you know like hey this is exactly what happens and don't use your mind at all like that's why Inception is it Inception um I think it's Inception the that one movie that's like wicked like mind fuck I think it's called Inception uh, I fucking love that movie. Like, I love when when Before when stories make me think. Later, she decides and then like have huge plot twists, you know. Into a That's why. Sorry, corrupt. I know I keep pausing it. That's why I'll rewind it. That's why Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorites because and ten because the plot twists in those two games, like when Cloud finally fucking finds out. Spoiler alert from old FF Seven OG twenty five years ago. Uh, when Cloud finds out that he was literally the one who stabbed Sephiroth and like the, the the whole helmet reveal right and then with ff10 the whole thing with what happens with you now i won't spoil because you guys know um but like when, when he when he finds out what really happens to the summoners when they do the final summoning like those kind of moments the <gasps> like oh my god or even with like ff16 i'm starting to theory craft about so much shit right now and i'm honestly i've been right about a lot of things based on the demo that i played already from like what i theorized from the first or second trailer like I love doing stuff like that, and I feel like you could do this so much with this with this series. Sorry, I rambled on for a while. Failed due to her being a poor fit for it. Later, she decides but I know you guys to transform like herself into so. a quasi herscher of corruption because she was a being made out of data. She yep. was much more fit. So for she became it a Honkai the beast, then, huh? Basically, the sim Mobius becomes an imitation of the previous era Hersher of Corruption and she wants to make multiple virus-like imitations to fight the Hersher. But before that, she asks Aponia to reconnect the realm back to reality. The Hersher's pursuit is stopped by Holy Cosma. Shit. After a one-sided fight, Cosma's data is deleted but comes back almost instantly. Cosma willingly became one of Grisio's paintings to fight the Hersher without the fear of being corrupted. Oh my he god! He wanted Grisio to turn his data into an ideal painting of himself. A painting in which he was a true So he was a dragon. Without Holy telling shit. him, Grisio didn't change anything, proving that all the Qualities that Cosma thought he lacked were always we're all... inside. Oh, that's After awesome. the game makes you beat up a child as a less slap in the Hersher's face, Grisio tells the Hersher of Corruption that she used herself as a canvas for the painting because she didn't want Cosma to be alone inside the Aww. painting. Aww. 
upset because she cannot absorb their data anymore, the Herscher of Corruption brutally and without any kind of remorse swings her arm and disintegrates Grisio and the painting's data. Oh I find my it god! Really funny that with the other flame chasers, the game never goes into much details when they got corrupted or died, but for some reason, Hoyoverse really wanted us to have the image of this child being blasted Jesus into nothingness Christ. very clearly defined into our minds. While pursuing the Hersher, Hua realizes that she can control the corrupted monsters. Mobius shows up in front of Klein and wants to use the Elysian Realm hardware to replicate the virus imitations that she made. Klein agrees to help but gets infected in the process. Mobius sacrifices her life and plan to escape into reality in order to save Klein and takes the corruption upon herself to protect the only person who understood her. Aww. After that, it is revealed that the reason why Hua was able to control the corrupted monsters was because she was the other successful test subject in the quasi 12th Hersher experiment, but she has no memories of it. Oh my god. Phil v hid the data of Kevin and Pardo inside the Hersher of Corruption's mind. She wanted Kevin to take the Hersher by surprise and strike her with a powerful attack from inside. Sue uses his data to amplify Kevin's attack and Pardo is forced to sacrifice herself by holding open a point that directly connects to the Hersher of Corruption. What? You really thought that seeing her dying only once was enough? Not in this game. No the way. Why the is Jesus? greatly weakened. To complete their assault, Hua uses Feng Wan's down zeroth power and hits the Hersher with eminence, completely undoing her disguise as Elysia and rendering her unable to further pursue Mei. Mei tries to reconstruct Elysia in the newly formed data space. Oh, I thought my computer was having an aneurysm. Eden and Elf Elysia show up and offer to use their data in order to help with the reconstruction. Dude, Maybe. you know what this room reminds me of? Um, not only like Kingdom Hearts, but uh, if you've ever played World of Final Fantasy, like the tea, the 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 girl that's like sipping the tea at the table in the chair, kind of reminds me of. Data space, but fails. Eden and Elf Elysia show up and offer to use their data in order to help with the reconstruction. May learns that Elysia was never the 13th Hersher. She was born a Hersher long before uh -huh. any Hersher appeared, making her the true first Hersher. She was never an apostle. Wait, she was born a Hersher? So she was truly the first Hersher ever? of the Honkai. On the contrary, she harbored a deep love for humanity. In her oh. final hours, Elysia wanted to pretend to be an enemy of humanity to unite the remaining flame chasers and give them- Oh my god, she pulled an Eren Jaeger. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's fucking crazy. ...them hope for the future. She wished to send them an invitation to her last- Or Lelouch from Code Geass banquet in the form of a challenge for them to come and stop her. Ultimately, she hesitated because she didn't want to disappoint them. Vilvi, Kevin, Eden and Aponia showed up anyway to bid their farewell. The rest of the flame chasers ignored the higher ups orders and refused to see Elysia as so a threat to humanity. After realizing that she is a Hersher, Elysia planned to return to the Honkai and use her powers to destroy the threads of fate that were binding Hershers and humanity to Honkai's will. Because of her sacrifice, the Hershers of the new era can keep their humanity and fight against the Honkai, becoming Hershers of humans wow. just like her. Before leaving, Elysia asked the rest to find a way to let her know if they ever meet a Hersher similar to her in the future. Now, we must find a way to tell me. Kevin was well, so desperate to recruit every goddamn Hersher that he came into contact with this whole game. After May wow. reconstructs Elysia's data, the two relieve the banquet from 50,000 years ago and May thanks Elysia for giving her the chance to retain her humanity. Look her on the swing. Elysia expresses how happy she is to have met May because she is the living proof that her sacrifice was meaningful. Oh In my god. End, May parts ways with the flame chasers and returns to reality. Elysia fights the Hersher of Corruption and uses the Kevin Killer 666 to delete the entire realm together with the Hersher inside. 
may find Skeleton wow, standing that's crazy. in front of the entrance to the realm in a very cool but probably very uncomfortable position. Seriously, how much did this man wait for May to come out like this? Yeah, Kevin for real. finally wants to start Project Stigma, but May refuses to join him and leaves World Serpent. Oh, so she did end up leaving World Serpent. Wow, dude. That was really good. That I'm going to watch this uh, this recap of the moon too. Maybe, I don't know because I kind of like now I'm like starting to want to go through this on my own. I will understand even more, but dude, Homeo Labs videos are so good for this. It's like honestly, I'm understanding so much of the lore of, of the game now because of this. So again, guys, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh give, you know, leave some comments, like his video. I'm going to leave everything linked down below. Oh, I can't wait to start playing this. I really can't. I'm very busy right now to start playing because this is a lot to like to play. There's a lot here, um, but I am very excited for when I can start playing this and streaming it. I want to wait till I can stream it because I do want you guys to walk, like go through it with me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.